If you are worried about AI detection or plagiarism in your paper or academic work, then this video is for you. Today I will share with you an easy to use tool that detects both AI and plagiarism in your document and also provides you a detailed report along with the suggestions that guides you how to fix these issues and make it ready for submission. The report highlights all the sections of the document that needs your attention and lets you as an author decide to make the changes. The tool is going to be very helpful for you and we will be testing it ourselves to find out if it is really worth it. The name of the tool is Final Scan Pro. You just have to upload your paper or any such document and it instantly checks for plagiarism and AI generated content. Not just this, but it provides you a detailed report that tells you the section that needs your attention and suggestions for fixing the issue, which you may not do with most of the other tools available in the market. You can also access some of the very useful features the tool offers for free that I will be mentioning at the end of this video. So first, let's upload a research manuscript and check for AI and plagiarism. Here, I am uploading a portion of research paper draft that I have written that we will be analyzing using Final Scan Pro. The tool has partnered with CopyLeaks for AI detections and plagiarism check. It will ask for payment per document based on the word count. But compared to most other tools available in the market that detects AI and plagiarism, the cost is two to five times lesser. Plus, it not only provides you a score, but a detailed report and revisions that can be made. Now, let's have a look at the results. The overall similarity of the document is 93.5%, which is very high. Why? Because I have uploaded the draft of the paper that is already published. There is no AI content detected because when I wrote the paper in 2017, there were no such AI tools that can write papers. To learn more about AI writers, you can check out my other videos in description. Now let's download the plagiarism come AI report. On the left, you will find plagiarism stats, words that are identical, words with minor modifications or paraphrased text, and all these are color coded differently. On the right, you will find stats about AI content. In my case, there is no AI, but we will also check it with another example. It will show the list of all the resources with which my document has shown similarities starting from the highest score. You can see this is the topmost resource is my own published paper because the document I uploaded was its draft version. By clicking the link, you can view the resource. So the tool has perfectly detected the plagiarism or rather I would say the similarity. The two terms appear similar, but there are a few basic differences that I have explained in my another video. In that video, I have also mentioned some of the most effective ways to avoid plagiarism. After the list of resources, you will find the highlighted text based on percent similarity. These highlighted sections needs to be rewritten and cited properly, else it won't be accepted for publication. Now let's have a look at the revision report. Let's download the report. In the report, you will first see the original text that we have submitted and detected as plagiarism. Just below it, you will see a revised text which is paraphrased in a manner that the actual meaning remains unaltered and the similarity score is reduced. You can read it and if you think it's appropriate, you can consider the changes made. Here I will not promote you to just paraphrase everything, rather use it as a guide to identify the issues, rewrite it and cite the original sources you had offered. You should not just use any paper, paraphrase it and submit. That is ethically wrong. Now let me use some AI generated content and check if it is capable to detect and revise it. Here I am using ChatGPT to write an essay on effect of stress in regulating blood sugar and also ask it to keep the language human-like to avoid detection by AI detectors. I have saved it to a document and then uploaded it to Final Scan Pro for plagiarism and AI content detection. It has now detected the content to be AI generated. Now let's have a look at the detailed report. The report shows about 9% plagiarism, which is quite low, and the content to be 100% AI generated as I generated it using ChatGPT. And even though I asked for a human-like output, ChatGPT content was detected as AI generated by this tool. First, you can see the plagiarism report, and after this, the AI detection report with highlighted text that shows plagiarism or AI content. Here is the revised document that rewrites the text to remove plagiarism and AI content. And rather than automatically revising the original document, it provides you the choice to do the changes after reviewing it. Now I have copied all the revised text from revised report of Final Scan Pro to a file to check the similarity and plagiarism score again using this tool. And now you can see that how efficiently it has removed plagiarism 
and rewrote the AI content to human-like. So this is how you can easily detect and fix plagiarism and AI content in your documents in just a few clicks. The tool provides detailed report in the form of highlighted text and also the revision report that you can refer to remove the plagiarism or AI content. And here you will find a list of free tools that you may use for improving the grammar, paraphrasing, AI detection, humanization, rewording, and paraphrase bank. Here you can see the results of paraphrase bank that helps you choose alternate phrases in your paragraphs. To learn more about each of these features in detail, you can scroll down and find more information about it. So that's all for today. Let me know in the comments if you find the tool helpful. Also share with me what are the major challenges you face in your research. Do check out my other videos on AI and research and publishing related topics. They might help you. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to stay informed about my latest uploads. Thanks and I will see you in my next video.